again. Today we're going to be cooking super quinoa with courgette, green beans and carrots. This dish is a nice mix of nuttiness and crunchiness. Jamie's going to be showing us how to make enough for two people, but the full recipe easily has five full servings. Enjoy! Hello, I'm Jamie Kivas and I'm here with Student Grove to do an unboxing and a cooking demonstration of the super quinoa box. It should be pretty good. So let's, let's start with the unboxing. So yeah, that's what you get inside the Student Grove box, which is quite, quite a good amount. And then to finish it off, you just need a little bit of olive oil. So, put it on a medium heat and let it soften for 25 minutes with a lid on. Put that heat up to about four. Four sounds good. Four's a medium heat, right? It's on the middle two numbers. Um, and then it says to put a lid on it. I don't have a lid. What I do have though is a plate. Rock and roll. Um, okay, this is part four on the thing, but I figure I'll do it now uh, just so it's out of the way. Um, these runner beans, or green beans, or whatever you call them, uh, you just need to whack the ends off them. Both ends off them, because those are the bits that don't quite taste as good and they're a bit tough Let's chop them all roughly in half uh, What I need to do is I need to put them in a pan and cook them for 3 minutes uh, with a pinch of salt Now just drain it and add it straight to the, the rest of the mixture so what you want to do now is you need to prepare the actual quinoa. So you just take this little bit off the side, the tab off. Uh, again, I'm only going to use about half of it, but it isn't a specific science. So you just sort of whack it into the sieve. And you just need, you just need to make sure that it's all nice and damp. From there, you add it to, uh, it says 500, so 250 millilitres of water. It is about a cup worth of water. So let's just whack on. One cup worth of water is about 250 ml. I uh, just have to wait for the green beans to finish cooking before I can put that on, because of the order that I'm doing this. So. Uh, so what I need to do now, now that I've got my rinsed quinoa and my 250 millilitres of water, I need to go to the pan. Um, and I've just, I've just added the green beans into there, so I'll just give that a stir. Drop some onion out of the pan, which was totally intentional. Honest. Uh, cover it. Lower the heat down to about two. Lower about two. And then go back to here. Put that in. There's your 250 mils of water and your quinoa. Goes in as well. 
A good way to do it is just for your hands, but it can be very sticky. So, not always the best. You leave that to boil for about three minutes. And then simmer to get rid of all the water. So then you can then add it to the pan. Okay, so next, uh, your last step, now you've got the quinoa done. Uh, you just need to add that to the uh, veg. Uh, remember to use something like a tea towel or oven gloves to, uh, to lift the lid off if you're using a plate like I did, because otherwise it will be a disaster and it will hurt your hand. Put that ready to wash up. In your washing up bowl, you give this a good stir. And voila! Quinoa with courgettes, uh, runner beans, onion, and carrots. Okay, so all you need to do now is play it up. And then all you need to do is remember to clean up your surfaces, remember to clean up the oven, remember to wash all your things, and voila, there is the food. This one is the better presented one. So I just uh, going to test this. That's still hot, but it's good, healthy food at an affordable price. Thank you, Student Grub. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> really hot then. Very hot.